Hey, I wanted to do this uh, quick video to show this uh, Fender Engine Room a level 5 power supply that we've just purchased. Uh, I've been looking out for a power supply for a while from a pedal board, finally bit the bullet, so just wanted to quickly show what's uh, what do you get uh, in the box and what accessories come with it. It might be useful for some people. Um, that's the actual power supply. There is a kettle lead. A uh, bunch of cables. Um, obviously, get instructions. There is some adhesive rubber feet, which you can put on the bottom of the power supply in case you want to just run it on the floor, so it stops it sliding around. Uh, but I'll just quickly take all these out of the bags and show you what actually comes in the box. So this is what we've got. Got your standard kettle lead. Uh, which I'm guessing is quite useful because um, you know if you've got spare ones from your amp, um, you can always just plug that into the power supply. Instructions: um, you've got enough cables really to run um, straight away. You could obviously just buy um, separate ones if you wanted to, and I will get onto that in a sec. But there's a good variety of uh, cables there. Um, you've got your standard uh, 2.1 mil barrel connectors both ends, so right angled and straight at the other end. Uh, these are all the ones there. There are some cables which will allow you to run off a battery. Well, not sorry, not off a battery, but essentially these are for old school pedals which did not have an input for a power supply, but they only ran on batteries. So what these cables allows you to do is just basically connect this end to the battery input on the pedal and allows you to actually run it as a power supply. There's some reverse polarity cables there and you also get um, this connector which has a 2.1 mil barrel at one end and a 3.5 mil jack at the other. Um, I'm not quite sure how that would work with pedals, never come across that but you know people that know probably know. Um, so that's just a list of all the connectors you get in there so by all means pause the video and have a look if that's enough for you uh, that's the actual power supply uh, you can see it's not that big I wanted something compact for my board so you can see it's not really that much uh, bigger than my hand uh, weighs you know probably as much as just a standard uh, chunky pedal so nothing really heavy in fact, I have a small pedal here, which I'll just show you the size. So this is an old Dan Electro pedal I have, so it's not really... The power supply is not that much bigger than the pedal, so these are quite good. Uh, you have five completely isolated outputs. Uh, each one runs 500 milliamps. Now, these will only run 9 volt uh, outputs. Uh, if you wanted to, of course, you could get voltage doubler um, cables from the likes of Voodoo Lab or something like that and actually run, um, basically combine two outputs which will create an 18 volt output and we, but you're then limiting yourself to three outputs at the other end but, you know, that's always an option. Uh, that's the kettle plug in. Uh, build quality wise, this uh, is very good. Uh, it's all aluminium, uh, very nicely made. The uh, All the ventilation ports, all the edges are nicely chamfered, nicely polished. Um, it is very well built. It's all metal other than the plastic around the connectors here. And I think this is a plastic surround there. So yeah, very nicely built. My only quibbles would be on the screws I think whenever they were assembling this, obviously these are quite chewed up, so it's just a little bit sharp there, but nothing really to worry about. But considering how good the rest of it is put together, I was a little bit disappointed that the screws are a bit chewed up. So somebody obviously went a bit mad at the factory assembling this. But other than that, it's very nice. Now, in terms of connections, you might be thinking, well, I have six or seven pedals, so I can't really use that. Well, you can. Uh, you just need to make sure that the milliamp 
uh, draw from your pedals um, is enough. So what you could get is this power cable from Voodoo Lab, which is what I bought because I actually have six pedals and there's only five outputs there. So this output splitter adapter, which looks like this, allows you to basically connect to one output on the power supply. And now you have two outputs there and four outputs here, so six in total. Um, as long as you've got enough current draw from each output. And for example, these are 500 milliamps each. So if you have two overdrive pedals that only use 100 milliamps, you can easily plug two pedals in here and you know maybe get another adapter, plug another adapter in here and then run another two pedals and so on and so on. So in theory you could uh, run quite a lot of pedals out of this. So don't worry about that. Just make sure that there's enough current draw from each output. So there we go. Oh, and by the way, um, these have got LEDs on the bottom of the outputs. So they basically show if there's an error, if there's a problem with the power supply, I think it goes red. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Uh, a Fender engine room level five uh, power supply.